ones I've ever sold, Nike Pegasus. They're dirty, but they're actually in good condition. And these are good too. I bet you, I bet you she'll say 15. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. That's good. How much on these two? $15 each. 15 each? Okay. Would you do 25 for each? <laughs> you wanted 15? Hey, I'll probably pay the 15. If uh, Maybe give me 30 minutes and I'll come yep. back. Yep. All right, thank you. Okay. What's this guy? Some of them with the right markings on them can be worth a lot. But this one doesn't have anything on it either. It does look like it's Jurassic Park though. Mean. There's more of those Bundaberg little flasks. They do really well. You wouldn't believe it, boys, but these do well. Uh, I wouldn't believe it. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Because <laughs> you're in it. <laughs> you always feature. What have you found? Um, no, Geez, that looks good. Yeah, I've got one of these at home already. Smash have you? Yeah. That's a nice size, too. 3XL. 3XL? Yeah, yeah like that's perfect. Sun. It might fit me though. Where's your, what's your bag, full? I've got one thing. Oh, so is Jamie, Cybershot. has Jamie quoted this one up? No, that's the one I just bought. I just bought that for five bucks. Oh, if it isn't Jack's. What have you got now? We're all brand new. Show and tell. All right, what are we, what are we got going on here? It's a fish, mate. Oh, a little bass. Little talking fish. Hey, these do well. These M&M, um, it's an M&M dispenser. It's even got a plane too, sorry. It's cool, hey? Yeah, I love that. And there's this guy too. How much are you doing on... No worries. Tenors each? It's not bad. Might have a think about it. Sorry. Ask him how much the big mouth Billy Bass is. Oh. See, is that the actual one? See, I might have just been joking with you. But... Big mouth Billy Bass. Yeah. Look at that age. Jemmy Industries, same one. Is it? Yeah. I think that's a win for you. And it's working. Obviously. Unfortunately. He's, He's dancing. dancing. <laughs> I don't want it to be. He's dancing. 20 bucks, 20. Working, yeah, he's talking. Oh, there you go. There you go. What do you say on the M and M things? Ten inch, twenty. Would you would you match me? Would you match me on fifteen for the two M and M's? He said twenty before. You're a thief. I like. Give me twenty, mate. I reckon. I'd I'd go fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right, we'll do 17. All right, yeah, good. deal. Thank you, mate. Am I burning you with a 50 there? No. No, thanks, Cheers. mate. He wants $33. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. What's that? Oh. Duck phone. A little duck phone. Same one. 90 best offer. <laughs> 90 bucks? Have a look at this. It's a, it's a very rare name. Have, have a look at this. Jamie started with a, a bass fish and a duck. <laughs> It's not, your, it's, it's not the usual day down here. How much are the footy boots? 150? Jeez, are they good boots? They're brand new, they have 240. Oh, are they normally? Yeah. Damn. They're just the wrong size. They look like they've never been worn. How much on these ones? 15? What size are they? A nine women's or men's? Women's. No worries. How are you going? Good. Good. What size are these ones? Uh, 24 and 5. It's female. Female, so, oh, 7 yeah. youth. Yeah, okay. You're the only one who didn't wear jumper. 
I know. <laughs> I know. Would you like to have one? Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah. It is a good idea. I couldn't believe it that I didn't put one on. I'm definitely cold. That's a cool hat. No 25 hat. year. No hats. I oh, know, no hats. <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh, nice. Yeah. What, even this? No. No? No. What do you know? Talk to me about what you're seeing here. Um, a camera. Oh. It's a Nikon. It's vintage. Yeah. I just did my password in the camera, Jamie, so maybe don't put that in. <laughs> I will edit that out for you. Uh, $50 lens. 50 lens? 50 yeah. mil, but that's worth about 50. 52 millimetre. Uh, I don't know. The same one. Same thing. Okay, Jamie, we're going to split this 50-50, Is uh, it, you are you talking 300? Yeah, probably. Just, just take the 50, lad. Just take 25 each. Take That's the 50. Password, Who's going to sell it, though? Um, his account. Oh, why? Jamie, take pictures. My account's not as good. What, really? Because my account's decent. Your, your account is, actually. <laughs> I mean, on bids, 300 as well. That's great. Mm. Boys, this isn't a dispute. I know, but we're just trying to figure it out. One's listed for 280, so yeah. you've got to take that into account. It's game on. Now that's looking a bit better, Jamie. You do all the work, Jamie. Getting away from the duck and the and the fish. I'm telling you, those are actually myself. Like, oh. self directed immaculate. No, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Two listed, 12 sold. Really? Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I've actually seen the, the fishes sell well overseas, like for Americans. So. Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's keep moving then. What are these? Are these little Wallace and Gromit figures? Do you remember Wallace and Gromit? Uh, $5 How much on those? They're brand new. Ten bucks. And then all these Simpsons ones? Thirty for the lot and ten for that. Radio. Yeah. I'll do these ones. Thanks, heaps. Appreciate it. I think they are from Chicken Run. Well, that's Wallace and Gromit. It does look like Chicken Yeah. That's 1989. Yeah, that's the boots in that girl's. There he's like <laughs> walking up the walls. I'll put that in the, I'll put that in the video. Wallace and Gromit walking up the walls, Jamie. That's definitely Sean the Sheep. Are they vintage? Yeah, looks it. I think it all looks vintage to me. Oh, remember him? Yeah, the fat chicken. Is that the chicken run? Is that chicken run? Yeah. No, I think that's Wallace and Gromit. You're tripping, mate. I wonder what 1989 Wallace is worth. That's what I mean. What about Very this little, one? Though. 1980, they're all 1989. It's all into the Bundy, eh? Hey? Yeah. Everyone's into the Bundy. Yeah. Apparently. How much on this shirt? Um, I'll do it for 15 if you want. 15? I've never actually worn it. I got it from the distillery. In Bundy. In Bundy. What else have you got for um, Bundy gear? Bundy gear, just uh, the, it's like a bar mat, I think it is, and then a picnic blanket, and then the shirt you've got there, so. Kosciuszko hat's cool. Sticky fingers. Yeah, mate. Flaming galah. Mmm. Budweiser, five pound. How much on that? Uh, five bucks. Jeez, I've got to stop getting hats, Jamie. <laughs> Go on, get us one. <laughs> That's a cool hat, though. It is a cool hat. Budweiser 5 pound. That's like I have to get rid of half of these as well, too, eh? Yeah, you're trying to move them on, eh? Yeah, that's it. I've got, like, yeah, literally no more spots on the rack. Now I'm just putting hats on top of hats on hats, and now they're falling off the doors and stuff. And oh, what? Just... like the one you got on. Thrills. Oh, yeah, thrills. I had no idea what it was. I was like, I'm wearing a hat. Like, but, <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> but a five panel cord, that's yeah. sick. Yeah, no, it's sick. I'll do the hat. I'll leave the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, mate. Kyrie's hooping in the NBA finals at the moment. How much on these? 
20. Would you do 15? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. We got a deal, girls. <laughs> we got a deal. Yeah, no, it's a real, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're nice. Yeah, my sunscreen is too big. <laughs> I'll, find some, I'll find some laces. Yeah, I took the shoelaces off because there's only, yeah. Yeah, sweet. There you go. Thank you very much. For that. Have a good day. Oh, wow. Check this out, Kate. $20. Apple. And this thing sells for 400 Because I thought it was that thicker one, but it's a bit bigger. Like that the wider. 380 Is it late 2014, this one? It looks like it. Oh, here we go. Have you searched Sierra? That's, that's the number, 1437. That's mini. About anywhere from like 200 to 400. Two to 400. And you paid what, how much? 20. Jamie, you are winning the day. I know, I'm doing well for that. You're having a day. It all started with the bass fish. I know, see, and you, you were dissing the bass fish. That gave you good luck. Yeah, there's no... no US Women's 11. Good size, ain't it? That big. Well, that, that are, that's probably that the Doc Martin Blair. They're 50. They're 50? Been, never been worn. Never been worn. Right, still inside for free. Jeez, <laughs> you've even got the sneaker protection. Yeah, I know. I've worn, well, sorry, I have worn them around the house and I just found that they were a bit too... Yep. For me, so yeah. Yeah, no worries. All right, I'll have a think. Thank yeah. you, though. No, that's all right. Size 11, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Jeez, this is busy. Wow, we've got a busy booth here. It is a busy booth. Have you just opened up? Oh, no, no, but do you want those things? How much? How much this one? Uh, 15. Steve Madden. These ones? Uh, 15. And these? Uh, 20 those ones. 20 on those. Yeah. Would you do 15 a piece? Yeah. Yep. They have a bundle of these. These are good. Yeah. They might fit you. That would be me. It'll be a brand new. Somewhere. I'll try and find a buddy. And, uh, 15. What are these? Buddy, are these 15 or 10? Uh, 15. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that's just what I Thank you so much. That's awesome. Look at them all. Every single item Did is they brand just get new. It? I, I don't know. I, but surely not because these shoes are brand new. And we paid, what did we pay? 15? Rosemary and time. I'll do that for three, mate. Let's do that. Region 4, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. I think so, yeah. It's got M on it. Yeah, see. Uh, a solid day. Let's go back home. We'll break down what I think we can sell it for on eBay. Now, after having done some research into a few of these items, I'm actually pretty happy with today's purchases. I'll turn the camera around and I'll take you through them and I'll let you know just how much I think I can get. I'm gonna kick things off with the two M&M dispensers. Uh, really cool little find this one. I was a little bit nervous initially to pay $20. I have actually found this one here at a thrift store. If any of you guys have watched the channel before, you might have seen a video where I picked one of these up. I was pretty confident in the purchase on that occasion. And to be honest with you guys, to pay $15, I was wrapped with this, especially knowing how much it goes on to sell for. If you do a quick search on eBay for M&M dispensers, you'll see that there's a lot of different types that you can find out there. Some are slightly rarer than others. Um, this one here, obviously completely genuine. There's no missing pieces to this one right here. This is the movie edition. You can see they tip out the M&Ms into the little hole there. Um, and this one right here was actually selling for around about $40 to $50 on eBay. So given this is in great nick, it might need a little bit of a clean. I think we can go for the full asking price on that. And remember, we only paid $7.50 each. So this one here wasn't quite complete. It was selling for about $50 if it was in complete brand new condition. Um, but there were comps on eBay with the one that I have here, um, which is actually missing the yellow M&M, uh, which usually sits up the top here. Um, so he's normally right there, and if that is complete, that would be about $50. However, I think I can get about $30 for this one right here. So, yeah, 
30 and 50, let's call it $80 worth of value. And I only paid the 20 bucks. So awesome one there. Look out for the M&M dispensers. Next up, we have this one here, the Budweiser hat. Look, this is a five panel. And if you're not sure what I mean by five panel hat, it just means the stitching is set up like this. Um, it's got five different panels to it. One, two, three, four, and five. So they are, that, I mean, for me personally, they are sought after. They just sit better on my head. Um, so if you do see that design of hat and you're trying to sell a few hats on eBay, um, this is a really nice style to find. Um, this is also a nice little touch as well. It was the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. So if I was to go ahead and try and sell this, I might be able to list it up for around about $40. However, it did sit on my head perfectly. So I may be keeping that one as a personal. Now, the NBA is on at the moment and we are in the finals. So a really timely purchase this one here because these are actually Kyrie Irving shoes. You can tell her here, obviously, by the logo. If you're not into your basketball shoes, you won't understand what that logo refers to. But that is Kyrie Irving. He plays for the Dallas Mavericks. And the Dallas Mavericks are playing the Boston Celtics right now in the NBA Finals. So a very timely purchase. Um, look, I think these shoes are in passable condition. Uh, in my mind, um, paying $15 for them wasn't too bad. There were comps on eBay upwards of $80 for these. Um, given the condition, I'll put some laces on it. It is a great size as well, uh, which is US 11. Um, so I think we could be able to go ahead and list these up for about 60 bucks. And I think that they should sell pretty fast, given that he's obviously hooping pretty well in the NBA at the moment. Nothing special about this one here, Rosemary and Time. Uh, complete series is the reason I bought it. It was only $3. Uh, it would go into a small satchel and it sells for about $25. So at the end of the day, I might make myself about $7 or $8 in profit. Uh, these ones here, there are no comps on eBay, but that booth was so crazy. I bought those Sokonis or the Sokonis, and I also bought these as well. So these are the Adidas Firewalkers. Uh, no comps on eBay, but they're the Chinese New Year colorway edition. And the fact that they are literally brand new uh, tells me that they will go on to sell fast for a price on eBay. I'm probably going to list them up, I'm thinking, for $80. So 80 bucks a piece on the shoes. And, and then we got these. This was such a cool purchase. Um, just one random one that I found there. It was Wallace and Gromit. And it was also all of these guys, the Chicken Run. Uh, there they all are there. So this is something that can actually go on to sell for some great money if they are rare and vintage and to be honest with you guys these ones are the wallace and gromit set here there was some comps going for about 40 to 50 odd dollars for a select few and as you'll see we've got a few different double ups so i can do multiple listings here around that 40 to 50 dollar price point and as for chicken run well this one right here was going for about 30 dollars on his own and these here were going as a bit of a set as well for 30 dollars and i've also got some double ups so look, ultimately guys, these, all of these little figures, I should be able to get well over $100 in value. And we only paid $10 for the entire bag. So 10 bucks for the bag, $100, I think actually out of everything today, this is probably my little favorite purchase. If you missed this flea market video right here, I highly recommend you guys go and watch it. 